G'day everyone, welcome back. Um, the channel's going to undertake a bit of a change. I'm doing a name change. Um, yeah, it'll be probably in the next couple of days. Um, I'm changing from TTMRJ over to Maddie's Workshop. Um, it's just a bit more. Yeah, just a bit more suitable, I think. Um, I've just got a batch of stickers made up, just to see how they go. Uh, nothing special, pretty simple stickers. Yeah, so I just sort of let you know that um, there's going to be a name change. Um, also, I've had a couple of new additions to the workshop, a couple of new toys, uh, tools. Um, I bought myself a, a more and right three inch square. I've been wanting one of these for a real long time and um, yeah, I finally got a chance of getting one so pretty chuffed about that. Yeah, they're a nice beautiful nice little square so it's going to come in very handy with the shaper and just yeah, general making stuff. Also picked up some um, fish tails, some 55 and 60 degree fish tails that way up. Um, yeah, and I've been cutting a couple of threads on the lathes which I've never really sort of got into but yeah they're actually working out pretty nice. So um, you'll see a bit of that in this video coming up yeah, later on in this video hopefully. Also, um, I've seen these on machines and always thought, wonder what they'd be like and this is just an eBay job. Uh, no, it's not an expensive one whatsoever. Um, yeah, but it's not bad on repeatability. I've I stuck it on a spirit level, um, set or reset. I've got the spirit level straight, and I reset it to zero, and then tipped it around upside down, inside out, and then rechecked it again on the spirit level, and it was reading it spot on zero. So um, yeah, I'm then I. I could put it on the on the shaper, on the bed of the shaper. It was reading zero, took it off, upside down, inside out again, put it back on, still reading zero. Uh, stuck it on the edge of the on the edge of the, the bed. Uh, it was reading, yeah, 90 degrees. So it seems to be fairly accurate, very or well enough accurate for what my needs are gonna be. So yeah, pretty chuffed about getting that as well. And in this video, um, my brother started a business probably a couple of years ago um, called Snowy River Black Garlic. Um, yeah, he produces black garlic. So, and the business seems to be taken off quite well. But what one machine he needs or implement he needs is a garlic. Um, what do you call a garlic picker? So, yeah, it's an implement that goes behind the tractor anyway. Anyway, he, he started and he needs a couple of axles made up. So this is this is one that's been well, it's well worn. Um, he wants a couple of new ones made up. So um, I'll be making those in this video. Um, yeah, so I've had to fiddle around with the threads. Like I say, I've, I've never cut threads before um, on the lathe. I've always just done it with tap and dies. Since I've got the new lathe, uh, I thought I'd have a crack at it. So there's been some ups and downs, I can tell you that. Um, yeah. And I found out 
where I was going wrong. I worked it out. I watched a few a few video a few more videos. Um, worked out where I was screwing up. Uh, it was a simple mistake where I had my um, compound set was set at 30 degrees, but mind you have to have it on 60 degrees on the increments. Uh, I think it's just the way the increments are set up on it. Anyway, I'll set it at 60 degrees and it, yeah, the threads have been turning out beautiful. So, I can find it here. It was <laughs> one attempt, two attempts, three attempts and bang, got it on the fourth. Um, I'm pretty happy with those. They turned out pretty nice. That's a 5.8 uh, five eight thread or 11 TPI. Um, turned out really nice. There is bugger all wobble side to side in the nut. It's nice and it's a nice fit. So, a few trial and errors, um, a <laughs> couple of mistakes. But when I worked out where I was going wrong, but everything was sweet. So I uh, got two axles to make up. Uh, I'm going to make one on camera, and I'll smash the other one out over a bit of time. There's no hurry for them. So that's what we're up to. Um, I've got a piece of material in the lathe already, um, which I've just got to take down to to 27 mil. Um, and then I'll, when I've got that down and I'll start doing the rest of it I'll bring his in when I've got the bulk of it out anyway anyway that's gonna yeah that's the changes that are going to be happening to the channel um, that's a few more tools I've got in here which I'm pretty excited about pretty happy to have anyway over to the lathe Down to 27 mil. Uh, I'll give that a bit of a scotch bright, and that'll clean up all right. 75 mil from the end. It goes down to 20 mil for a, the inside of the bearing, ID of the bearing. Uh, that um, that'll be 25 mil long. And then it drops down to the 5.8 diameter for the thread. So I'll turn it all down to 20 mil, and I'll come back in and turn this down to 5.8. So I'll just keep gnawing away at it. I've got 12 there to take off to bring me down to 20 mil. Um, I know I'm working in Imperial and in Metric, but that's the way I do it. Works in my head. So I'm going to dial in uh, 10 thou, and I'll um, I might just polish the rest down to get a nice fit.
how close we are here, probably still a mile off. Yeah. I'm going to do a bit of polishing on that and then I'll bring it back when I've got it fitted. I've got this down to 20.07 I think it is, I measured. Um, it's quite warm, so I'm going to leave it at that. And if I have to, I'll just polish a bit more out of it later. When I get, I'm going to turn this down here to. I know I'm working again in metric and imperial, but 625 thou for the 58 thread. Um, so I'm, I'm quite happy to leave that there. Uh, it's probably going to shrink a touch when it cools down. So. Um, it would be a bit easier just to polish that section too, instead of trying to polish a lot. Um, so I'll turn this down to 625 there, get ready for the thread. Twenty-five and half a thou under. Wasn't a bad guess. Uh, here I've put a, uh, a relief in here where I come out of the thread. Um, I'm going to set up now to uh, cut five, eight, eleven thread on there. So. I put a relief in a uh, hundred thou deeper, oh, 50 thou each side, obviously. Yeah, um, I think I'm think I'm ready to to uh, cut the thread. Uh, sorry, I, I did did a couple of passes, and I, I thought I hit the record button, but I bloody didn't. Um, I've only done two or three passes, so you didn't miss much. start but not quite a little mistake there I'll just take that it's not crucial this little shoulder here I'll just take that down <laughs> get rid of the mistake
I'd like to put a jog button on this lathe, um, just a little push button, just to jog it. Yeah, I think that'd be quite handy for when you thread when you're coming back because I don't disengage. I don't disengage a carriage because the lead screws it's really fine, um, and to get it to, to start right on the on the button on the on the yeah right on the number it's yeah I did have a bit of trouble doing that's why I'm leaving the, that's why I'm leaving it locked in so. pass on that and my camera's flashing so I've got to get rid of some older material we're out of we're out of SD card I'll be back wow look look at that I forgot to even put the bloody lights on this morning well we've got lights now and I've made some more room on the card so remember where I'm up to I'll do a spring pass happening at once. Which doesn't take a lot for my brain to get mixed up. Just give it a touch. Look at that. I'm pretty bloody happy with that, I can assure you. It's actually made me a bit excited. Another successful thread. Excellent. I'll we'll just put a bit of Scotch Bright over that now. Uh, this was uh, this this is this is the next morning since or after I turned this, and this was pretty warm. Um, last night when I finished, so I didn't bother polishing that down to get the bearing to fit on because um, it was quite warm, so I'll just check the bearing again, I think yeah, It's going to have to come down a couple of, yeah, probably a thou, make it fit, I think It feels like it wants to start, it's just just not quite, okay Hone up and I'll we'll polish that down and we're right to go. Uh, there is one end complete. Um, I did ring my brother and ask him about the fit of these bearings. He said it doesn't have to be a press fit. Um, there's no speed involved with this axle or anything. It's very slow. Um, it's not going to be hunting down the highway at 100 k's an hour anyway. So that's a nice, nice slip fit. 
Uh, very happy with this way this thread turned out. Um, I've probably done a million things wrong doing it, but it worked. Um, there is next to, uh, there is really no, well you got to have a little bit of play, but it's very minimal. Uh, where I did slip into this shoulder here, I cleaned that up. Uh, and looks like the um, the relief could have been a couple of feet bigger too, which I'll know for the other end. Um, anyway, that's, that's the way it is. It, it, the nut fits, the bearing fits. It's not doing a. It's not doing a. a uh, it's not a stub axle for a race car. Um, I'm I'm very happy with that the way they turned out. So now all I've got to do is get the length, then I just got to repeat repeat the same on this on this this end here. Um, I've done one end on camera. I don't think I boys with another end. It's unless I make a big mistake, I'll, I'll show you. I don't mind showing my mistakes. Everybody makes them. Um, yeah, I'm running human. So um, later on today, I'll hopefully we'll get this end finished, and then maybe one axle done for him. There you go. This contract's complete. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the way these turned out. Um, considering I've never cut threads on a lathe before, and it was just a big, massive learning curve. Um, yeah, super excited and happy with the way they, they, the result was. Um, there must be a bit of crap in that thread there. Um, there we go. Um, I didn't realise that there was a couple of four bushes to make up to replace these. Only ever only was given two. Um, as you can see, they're pretty ordinary. Um, this one could have been reused at a pinch, but I just sort of bugger it. Make four more. Um, and I didn't put that on camera. Um, it was a bit of a rush to get this finished because I had a suspicion my brother was on me on his yeah, he's coming up to pick him up. So I just yeah, last night I just threw a bit of stuff in the lathe and just whacked him out pretty quick. So I apologise I never got that, but it was a pretty simple operation. It was just yeah, down to just took it down to the diameter and just bored the center out. Um therefore a dust cap, something that description anyway. Um, so the Baron sits on that journal here, and this just um, sits up against it, I believe, is the go. Um, so that was a pretty easy, pretty easy, simple part to make. Um, I know I work in Imperial M metric at the same time, it works in my head. Um, I convert from metric to Imperial and just, it's, it's a lot easier. Me, me lathe, new lathe, surprisingly enough, has got a new Imperial lead screw. Um, the dials on it are mostly all in Imperial, they have got the uh, metric conversion all, yeah. But I find it a lot easier to work in Imperial. So. Um, all you Americans there, thank you. It's awesome. Love it. Easier. A lot easier. I just, for the life of me, I just can't understand these, the metric side. Like, it just gets confusing in my head. There's not much in between my ears anyway. Uh, apart from that, these, I'm really <laughs> sitting them side by side. They're absolutely identical. Um, which I was really happy about you know you I made one I made one side on camera and then I just yeah other sides are all the same so I didn't bother film all four sides it was just well, all the complete pieces um, so yeah 
as a par as for the name change of the channel in the next couple of days like I said I'm going to be changing the name um, I do have some stickers here so if you'd like a sticker um, send me one of yours and I'll, I've got a door I want to make my cupboards here I'm making a, a sticker door on it um, yeah, if so if you'd like one, send me one of your stickers and with the return address. Um, oh yeah, just with an address that I can return one to you. And then I'll put some in an envelope and I'll send them off to you. So yeah, let's do a swap on some stickers, eh? Sounds like a bit of fun to me. So that that brings this contract to an end, I suppose. This this little job, it's been a fun build um, and I learned an absolute hell of a lot doing these um, yeah I learned learned heaps it's been been brilliant really really enjoyed this it wasn't just your normal you know get something around make it smaller it was yeah the threads really uh, it's yeah massive learner curve and that's what I enjoy I like it was a good challenge for me I know people think you know, or pop, people are probably thinking that you know just making the threads easy for them but when you've never done it before and you've only ever used taps and dies and to be able to to get it right um, it only took me four goes or oh, three goes and the fourth time I, I nailed it on a piece of just a piece of scrap uh, and then I just said bugger it I've tried these and um, yeah I've got them got them spot on so thank you very very much for joining me on this little job um, please leave some comments um, yeah and hit the like button subscribe to me please it's yeah the channel's up to 76 subscribers now which um, <laughs> I didn't ever expect to get one, let alone 76. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for joining me again. So if you want a sticker, send me a... Um, I'll go in the description, I'll put um, my postal address. So if you want a sticker, send me one of yours. And I'll return some back. Thanks, guys. See you later.